my education was interrupted by World War II, and I thought it might be well to talk about my experience there during the war. My family, especially my father, was extremely patriotic, and he uh, served in the Air Force in World War I, met my mother in Texas, and it was just taken for granted that my brother, two years older brother and I, would be in the service during the war. Uh, so we decided to volunteer for the Navy so that we wouldn't be drafted into the Army. And uh, we both did. And as it turned out, I just had a ball in the Navy because I didn't leave this country. I went to several different places, had interesting experiences. My brother, though, ended up on a destroyer off of Okinawa that was hit by a kamikaze. Mm. And uh, he was not injured and he got back, but he was traumatized by the slaughter. I got involved in the American Civil Liberties Union, and uh, for a time I was the, dis the chapter president of the Dallas chapter of the ACLU. Because of my involvement in the ACLU, and I should have mentioned also, uh, in Dallas, Dallas Citizens for Peaceful Integration, a committee that we formed. Uh, I, I was had a seat at, uh, for the luncheon that Kennedy was going to address in the uh, uh, International Trade Center that was in Dallas, and he was on its way. And we sat there and Kennedy didn't appear. Hmm. It was too late. And he, was late to us, and then finally somebody turned on the radio and heard that he'd been shot. Hmm. And uh, my my oldest son had been on the route that he was following to get downtown and saw him go by. You know, waved waved at Kennedy. He's the last member of my family that saw anything about him. My first academic job was at Oregon State University. There four years. Southern Methodist University in Dallas for 11 years, University of Missouri for 40 years. Eventually I developed a, a course that is, was listed with other courses, mm -hmm. cross-listed between philosophy and peace studies. The absolutely foolish to engage in war anymore is one where you're going to be injured more by victory than uh, as badly by victory as your opponent is. There are no winners anymore. So we got to figure out a better way to resolve disputes between countries. And